Hi there. I love magnets. Magnets are fascinating to me. Bring opposite poles together and they stick together. Bring like poles together and they won't stick together. If I put one on the table, bring the like opposite poles together and they fly apart. Those are like poles, so they've attracted. As an example, often what people do then is to put a rod in the middle. And then try putting the two together. If they're the same, of course, they attract. But if they're opposite poles, then the top one stays away and springs up and down. The reason I'm doing this is because on the internet I saw somebody who'd managed to get sheets of magnetic material onto which they could put north-south poles in the right orientation so that in one way they would repel like that and then if you turned it quarter of a turn or something like that they'd cling together which these of course won't I thought it was fascinating what they'd done but wondered if I could do it without sheets of magnetic material but using individual magnets played a lot with individual magnets Spent ages trying to build a levitating device. There's lots on the internet now. But I didn't want to use electromagnetism. Use electricity to produce an electromagnet to make it so it would levitate. Now the devices on the internet that don't use electricity then usually use a configuration of three magnets at each end two magnets together like so and then they bring a third one in and that third one if it's in the right position is repelled by these two if we do the same at the other end then try and bring our magnets down we find that it's like a hill. Uh, we need to stop that moving. Put a magnetic ruler. Put a, just put a ruler underneath. That should stop it. And then bring these down. And I find that there is a point in the middle where they're held up. But it's a very precarious point and I can't hold it there. So it go, either goes one way to the left or a little bit further to the right but keeping it in the middle is very difficult on these gizmos on the net they use a heavy object or a piece of material fastened to these magnets such that when the magnet tries to fall off the top going to the right here it can't go because the object there stops it so if I can get this in just the right place so it's just falling off the top then it's supported there by the magnets and it's trying to fall to the right but can't because of the stop that I've put in there if we just have a look down hopefully we can see that it is supported by the magnets and that's what's holding it up and the heavy object on the right stops it from falling off the peak as it were so how does this help me with my idea of a gizmo 
that will come together but push apart when turned. So to do that I built another identical wheel but it has the two and the single so that when I put these two together if I bring it down correctly I have the same triangular orientation that I had before so it comes down it's a bit stiff is that not working as I would like it to maybe this one no, oh, that one's stiff as well. Bring it down. I'm not getting much movement, but I'm getting some. So it does spring up to a certain extent when I let go. It isn't really sliding as I'd like it to. Anyway, there it is working, coming up, but if I turn it round, then the two come together, because these two magnets are opposite poles, so that holds the device together, but if I turn it, just the right point where's that there then it does spring up again as if there's a spring built in but it's all done with magnets so I can bring it round and it clips itself together clips itself together there so these north and south are holding it together and it will come apart but it's a bit difficult but if I twist it it actually forces itself apart and acts as a spring again Enjoyed playing with that, enjoyed building it, messing about. In fact, I could keep playing with it all day, I think. So it is possible to build a device that acts as a spring in one place and turn it quarter of a turn and then it acts as a lock, I think they call it. Don't help me with my development of point motors, but it's definitely been an interesting diversion. Anyway, I'll have to move on. Bye now. Bye.